I think getting out here definitely helps it sink in. I mean, at the start, you don't really know what quite happened, and now you're just uh, you're excited about the whole uh, everything that happened, but you just don't quite believe it's real. And now you kind of get here, and today I got to kind of put on the, the Leafs uniform for a shoot and for a photo shoot. It felt pretty good, so uh, I'm excited about it. It definitely has sunk in. Because you guys had such a great season, Stanley Cup, and such a close knit team. Did it take you a while to get over that? Uh, no, not really. I mean, obviously, uh, when you're in that situation, you don't know uh, what's going to happen. I mean, the salary cap nowadays, uh, it's tough on a lot of teams and a lot of players. So um, I was the one who had to move on, and uh, there's a few other guys that moved on too. But you know what? To come to an organization like this, I couldn't be happier. I mean, it's just top notch. Uh, just to see all the facilities and to see uh, just how they treat everyone and handle everything with such first class, uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, obviously, it's uh, Coca-Cola Zero fans first. You know, everyone come out, 21st. It's uh, They're teaming up. They're going to do everything together there, right? Uh, here, here's a guy let me know everything about everything. But no, yeah, it's uh, it's a great cause. I mean, everyone, uh, we're excited to see uh, all the fans out on the 21st. And, and Coca-Cola does such a great job uh, always putting great events on. So this is uh, this is big for us, and it's big for these guys to get out there and see what we have to do in a, in a regular practice. But uh, we're going from the Stanley Cup champion to the Cellar Dwellers. I mean, you're okay with the direction the team is going and all that? Yeah, I mean, uh, Brian Burke, obviously, he's uh, one of the greatest GMs uh, in the league. And, uh, and just to come to a team like this where uh, he's a proven winner and he wants to win, and, and Ron Wilson's such a great coach, uh, I'm excited about it, you know. I mean, there's a lot of great guys, a lot of young guys and great hockey players on this team, and I'm excited to get it started, so it should be a lot of fun. When was your day with the Cup, and what did you do? Uh, July 3rd, I mean, we had a, a little road hockey game the one day at uh, my mom's old house, and uh, we had a... A couple of little events we did for the public and a, a family barbecue and things like that. So it was uh, it was a hectic first day. I, I hate to say I, uh, I wanted the cup to leave because it was so hectic, but uh, I gotta I gotta kind of just stay with it and, and sit with it for an hour and realize I mean what I what I'd accomplished and my team had accomplished. So it was pretty special. Yeah. yeah. The thing you did with it. Well, not really nothing. I mean, you, there's so much. Uh, it's so much time consuming. Uh, it's such a time consuming day. I mean, there's nothing really you can do with it. Uh, you're trying to get the public to see it, you're trying to get your family to see it, you're trying to get your friends to see it, and everyone wants to kind of be a part of the day, so you want to be uh, involved with everyone, and there's nothing really you can do, but um, it, it was a lot of fun just to uh, have it and show it off in the hometown and let everyone see what it's all about. When did you get into uh, Toronto? Just just this is my first day I got in. Uh, yeah, I flew out at 7 a.m. this morning uh, to come out here and, and help and do this event and uh, do a couple other things this week. and. Maybe uh, go uh, searching for a home, so uh, I'm excited about it. Is there anybody on the roster that you know from uh, younger playing days? Or uh, well, I think uh, only uh, Dion Phaneuf. Me and him have played against each other uh, since we were he was 16, I was or he was 17, and I was 16. So Dion is uh, the only guy I really truly know. I mean, I played with Shen at the Young Stars game last year, so I got to hang out with him a bit there, but. All in all, I mean, it is a young team, and uh, it seems like all great guys. Just talking to Commissarek, and uh, I'm excited about it. Yeah, Kobe Armstrong on the ice there. He could be a potential line mate. Have you given yeah. any thought to how things might sort of that way? Or? Yeah, no, I know not. it's early. I on. mean, it's whatever they want to put the lines. I'm, I'm just excited about coming here and, and helping this uh, great franchise and, and try to uh, contribute to my best every game. So. Uh, wherever I play, whether it's first, second, third line, whatever they want from me, uh, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try my best every game. Now this is probably your, well, obviously your first fan event here in Toronto. What is your impression so far of not only the fan base, but the media coverage they're going to be experiencing now? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I saw a, a different kind of animal in, in Chicago. I mean, there's a lot of media there, especially when the team got good. I mean, near the start when I was uh, a call-up guy, I didn't see too much. But near the end, I mean, that room was packed every night, and they were, uh, they, they were into it, so um, I, I think it kind of made me a little bit ready for here, but I mean, this this media, they're everywhere. Um, they want to know everything, but hey, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm just excited to be here and, and be a part of this all. Do you tweet? No, I don't tweet. Yeah, yeah I know. I heard Thomas Sarah tweets. He had to take a picture. He's putting on his tweet, so uh, <laughs> an early tweet <laughs> right there. Me, uh, yeah, have you seen your YouTube clip of you uh, rapping uh, in, the, in the post uh, celebration there? Uh, oh, I, uh, actually, my mother showed me it. She was a little embarrassed, but uh, she showed me that YouTube clip. She wasn't too happy with me. No, that's not the first time. <laughs> no, she was laughing. She was laughing. I mean, so, I mean, it was basically just to have fun. Me and Sharpie kind of went through a little routine, uh, what to do the day before, and 
uh, it's just to have fun and, and let the fans have fun with it. So I've, I've looked at it, I'm a little embarrassed, but hey, it's all good, it's all good fun. It seems like that's, that was something you might have done in the, the dressing room a lot, just to kind of keep yeah. the guys loose. Is, is that true? Well, it's just something that I try to bring uh, a different aspect to the game. I mean, uh, some guys are leaders by uh, what they say, some guys are leaders by what they do, and sometimes I just try to help uh, guys if they're up, uh, up tight, just have fun, you know, I mean, this is what we play for, this is what we love, this is what we've grown up and, and we've done our whole lives. There's no uh, point in taking it too serious now um, when you don't have to. I mean, you want to have fun, you want to enjoy this whole moment and uh, just sink it in. So I think that's something maybe I'll try to bring uh, here and um, just and move forward with it. Any aspirations for open mic night or anything like that? Yeah, I got a few things uh, written down, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I can bust them out opening night. I'd like to play a few games first. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that a few times already, but they're not going to let me do anything yet. <laughs> I gotta play a few games. <laughs>